Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Soundbox Tubity and today we're doing another episode of improving a planet's moon systems or in this case giving a planet a moon system since today will probably be the last episode of this series so yeah we've done a lot of planets but um yeah the last um, episode of this series will be planet 9 as mentioned in the previous episode so definitely if you've not seen all the previous episodes of this series definitely check them out because we have given every single planet in our solar system including Mercury and Venus we have been given them moon systems, and we've got quite a lot of objects at 281 right now. Like, if we just go in the menu here, there's quite a lot of moons. So, yeah, today we're doing Planet 9, which will be our season finale for this series. So, yeah, really, really um, special thanks to everyone who's watched every single episode of this series. And, yeah, it's been, it's been a good ride. But, yeah, this is the final um, episode of this series, because the simulation's starting to get too laggy to really start adding more objects. And, so, yeah, Planet 9 will be our last um object for this series so um yeah it's definitely been a very very fun run doing this but also before we start as well guys i just want to quickly say the road to 5k subs we are so 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 close we are literally 40 subscribers away right now we are unbelievably close it is absolutely crazy how close it is to the big 5,000 mark so just a massive massive thanks to um everyone who has um subscribed watches the videos and continues to watch the videos every time there's a new one just a massive thanks because it is it's pretty insane just how crazy um the subscribers um count has got now so um all right yeah there we go so right i've just um set up a few things behind the scenes there so yeah planet nine we'll begin now so planet nine so the last planet now i've actually got some objects specially made for this episode so a massive thanks to mr miss lock um for doing it on short notice as well I've got some special um, objects to use with Planet 9 over here. So yeah, here's my um, custom Planet 9, as some of you uh, may know if you've been around for a while. This object I've had for a long time. I, it was a custom spawn as well. This is not a modded object. This was spawned in normally in the game. I've already um, given it all of its orbital specifications um, like the normal simulation. It just looks... Without all of the other dwarf planets and the Kuiper Belt objects, it looks so far away. It's crazy. So yeah, here it is here. And it is pretty crazy. Now, I, I believe this is correct where its orbit is it i'm pretty sure that's right i'm just going to save it just to do a final check but i'm pretty sure um yeah this is um pretty much ready to go yes yeah, so i've got um two special moon templates to use for this so i'm looking forward to showing you guys those but let me just quickly check my um normal solar system um here so yeah so that says 19,000. okay so if i go to uh my normal solar system here and then, yeah, there's Planet 9 there. So the normal solar system, it's way less laggy in here as well. Yeah, 19. Okay, perfect. I almost thought I goofed up. It's just because it's so far away. It's so weird seeing it about Sedna there. So I almost got a little uh, a little confused. But, yeah, Planet 9's all good the way it is. So let's go back into here now. It's taking a while to load. Look how long it takes to load this crazy sim. Right, so let's zoom back in on Planet 9 here and let's begin. So, yeah, Planet 9. Right. Adding moons to Planet 9. So this is something I've actually um, never, ever done, really. So... Yeah, let, but first, let's get these special Planet 9 templates here. So, you can see here, they are very similar colour to the planet itself. Because these moons are actually the same colour as Planet 9 is. We got into the files, or Mr. Mislock got into the files, and he literally copied the colour of Planet 9 here, and then pasted it on these moons. So, here we've got a cloudy version. And then over there, we've got a less cloudy version of Planet Nine's atmosphere. So we've got two Planet Nine colored moons to start off with here. So yeah, we've got the, uh, yeah, so we'll just call it, yeah, Planet Nine. Let's call it in letters, at Planet Nine Cloudy. There you go. I'm not, I don't know really not to name these moons anymore. So, uh, so I'm just going to go over there. <laughs> there you go, Planet Nine Cloudy. So here it is. Oh, it's quite big as well. So we're going to have to lower the mass of this guy so we're going to pull it to about 0 0.2 earths there we go so i don't want it being too large 16 moons is fine then we're going to put this other moon further out because remember planet 9 has 10 earths so it can support moons at a decent mass so that's all good so there it is there so then with the color below i'm gonna have it as a bright white underneath there we go it's really sort of show the surface up below the clouds there but look at this thing it looks so cool so yeah there is that Obviously, there's no sunlight here, so we'll have to stay on studio mode. See, it's just completely dark. So, yeah, studio mode is what we'll be working with there. So, that's in orbit of Planet 9. Now, look at that. That's cool. And then we've got the regular colored one over here. So, with this guy, we'll go with a white and blue color. Oh, look at that. Oh, I really like that. That is looking very fine. There we go. And then we'll go with, like, a darker blue there. But look at the way this thing is. 
So yeah, the mass of this will go over um, 0 0.09 Earths. So that's a little smaller in size there, but look at the way. I really like the blue on that. The Planet 9 blue with the white, and then they're like the Neptune blue here. Let's make it a little more Neptune sort of colored there. But yeah, that is looking very, very nice. Oh, I like that a lot. That is very cool. So we'll just call it uh, Planet uh, Yeah, Planet 9... And then we'll just call it not not cloudy. Yeah, I'm very I'm very creative with name. Uh, not not cl cloudy. <laughs> oh god, my spelling. C L O U D Y. There we go. So Planet Nine not cloudy, and then we've got Planet Nine cloudy. So um yeah, there are those two there. So they're now in orbit of Planet Nine. So check it out. So if we turn those off, we can see the cloudy one there. Then we've got the uh, less cloudy version here in orbit of Planet Nine as well. Look at that. Oh Planet Nine, so 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 cool. Alright, so yeah, we've got those two templates in here now. So now I'm going to add a few more um, objects in to give Planet 9 some more uh, some more love with the moons. So yeah, Planet 9, I'm going to go over about 10 sort of moons. I think that's um sort of amount a planet like this would have around this sort of size. So yeah, we'll go over about 10 moons. So let's have one um, a little closer to Planet 9 as well. That'll be quite a small moon. I'm also going to place another regular moon out here as well. And now I'm going to go to my more of the modded objects in here. And we're going to throw a few of these in. So, um, let's see here. Till. Ooh. I wonder if I still have that other Planet 9. Let me just search this up. Okay, so I still have the Planet 9 too. I'm going to use this. We're going to have a gas giant moon in orbit of Planet 9 as well. So, it's a slightly different color, as we can see here. This is one of the objects you guys made a long time ago. So, we're going to have a, uh, a second sort of Planet 9. It's going to be quite low in mass. We'll go with one Earth. So, this will be the largest sort of moon. Actually, you know, go a little smaller. I don't want it being around that large. Um, let's see here. I want it to be sort of a realistic size. Let's go about 3,501. There we go. Oh, and all the gas is gone. Well, since it's modded, it should reappear. Yep. Perfect. So there we go. So now we've got a gas giant moon in orbit of Planet 9 with a custom blue trail as well there. Okay, so this object over here. I'm just going to leave it frozen, honestly. I think we'll have it reflecting a lot as well since it's not really going to get light. We'll have it as a very, very water-heavy ice well. So it's going to be... A lot of frozen ice, as we can see there. So, yeah, that's fine the way it is. Okay. It's always nice to have a few random objects in here. Uh, then we got Salby. Actually, Planet 9, not cloudy. I'm going to have... Um, yeah, we're going to add a bit of water to you. Actually, no, no, I don't do that, actually, because that will ruin it. So, a bit more iron. Then this guy will have some water on you. So, how does water look like on you? Ah, it's not really a difference. Yeah, it's not really much. I'll leave it like that, though. So we've got Planet 9 Cloudy. Then I will also incline some of the orbits as well. So this guy here, we're going to put you up a bit. And then Planet 9 2, how are you doing? I'm going to put you around here. I'm going to also do you on a slight incline as well, just to get a little um, uniqueness with some of these. And then um, I'll just do it slightly on a few of these, just to, just so they're not all flat, because having them all flat is kind of boring. So there we go. Just to add a little, just to make every single moon different. So there we go. It's got a nice mix of um, objects in there, all Planet Nine sort of themed, apart from this one, I guess. So this one's actually got the blue on it as well from a random spawn. So um, how are we going to roll the colours on that? I really am liking the white and blue theme actually. What was an atmosphere? Let's have a blue atmosphere. There we go. Ooh. Nah, nah, that, I'm not a fan. Let's go zero. Yeah, let's get rid of all that. No, no surface pressure on you. Yeah, you get, you stay the way you are. Um, and then I will lower the size of the sky a little smaller. So let's go to about um, 0 0.9 moons. So there we are. So quite a little small little moon closer to Planet Nine there. So we've got cloudy. I really like that cloudy one. So um, yeah, we've got all of those. All right. So let's see what here. Oh, there's a few uh, teasers for a future video there. So yeah, we'll leave those um, for now. Okay, I need to sort of organise these again. I did delete all of the Subscribers Universe Season 1 objects, but since this series is ending, maybe I'll begin on Subscribers Universe Season 2. So I have sort of had that. I've taken a break from Subscribers Universe because that was a very, very big project. As some of you may know, if you watch Subscribers Universe, it took a lot of hours to make. So, yeah, please respect. Uh, I want to take a little break from that because it was pretty insane making that crazy system. Okay, dark green. I'm tempted to use this. Actually, oh, I think I already used it. I don't know. Um, let's see, it's quite hard to. There's so many to choose from. It's just overwhelming. Which one you want to do? Almost. Um, light blue. That's got a very shiny. I do like these shiny objects. Um, let's have it further out than the gas giant. 
Okay, so let's have it about, yeah, like that. There we are. So very shiny. Does it appear shiny from here, though, since there's no sunlight? If we put it on realistic, I'm guessing it won't be... Yeah, you won't see anything. Flashlight, very, very shiny, though. So there it is there. And I know we want studio mode, don't we? So there it is. So, yeah, we'll make this guy quite small as well. Let's go 0 0.04 Earths and then go 0 0.03 Moons. There we go, make it a really, really small little shiny guy. We're going to cover it in a lot of water. There we go. So, yeah, very, very water-heavy object like that. Okay, there we go. Let's call it um, Small Shine. There we go. Small Shine. So there's that all the way over there. Alright, there we go. So it's quite a far out moon there. I'm really liking this. If we click play, this will all run as well. Very, very slowly though. Because obviously, the game's also got to run the rest of the solar system over there. With all of their moons as well. So, we probably won't be able to see this at its full uh, potential. And also guys, do you want me to release this to the Discord? Let me know um, down below. Um, yeah, do you want me to release this in the custom systems um, chat? Because, yeah, if you guys want it, I'll release it. No problem. And then maybe you guys could, like, edit it for a subscriber system. Like, improve it or something. Maybe maybe one you could do that. It'd be quite interesting um, to see that. Or do it with any of my color systems. There's some ideas for anyone who needs some ideas for subscriber systems. If you if you don't know what to do, just take one of my systems and improve it. Because that'd be quite interesting to um, see, actually. Yeah, they're all in the custom uploads um, chat still. So if you just scroll up a bit, you'll see all of my coloured solar systems and subscribers universes in there as well. So um, yeah, some definitely some interesting systems you could use in there if you want to do that. Let's just call this um, blue, blue gas. There we go. But yeah, that's just a little uh, little tip from me if you're out of ideas for systems. But yeah, there we go. So there's um, planet nine, and now it's got its blue gas moon over there. So you see it there. Okay, looking good. All right, so how many moons are we at now? So we're at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'll go about four more. We will add some asteroids in as well, just to um, add a few more objects in there, because there should be a few around at least. So we'll go one, two. Let's have a second one sort of in this area as well. So three, four. There we go. Just that. Oh, we got an Aura Pax. Look at that. I haven't seen that name in a while. Some random names. Aura Pax. Yeah, I heard the next update may be coming soon, actually. So, yeah, that is something I'm definitely um, interested in seeing there. What's up, Planet Nine's Orbit? What's going on here? Why are you not, like, on the line? That's strange. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, it's all to do with... Um, I think they already announced this, but it's all to do with planet um, surfaces and stuff, like custom planet maps and things like that, I, I believe. Or well, something like that. So, I think you can, like, change the elevation of the planets. I'm really hoping that is true, though. But, yeah, I believe... Um, planet mapping or whatever it is um you can change like where the elevation is on the planet's surfaces so i don't know if you can change the texture but you can change like the elevation i believe i'm i'm not entirely sure someone correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but yeah the next update planet mapping or something like that i think it's called but um yeah there is that okay how are the moons all doing here anyone uh any of the orbits wobbling or are we all good okay we have got a few wobbly objects so i wonder what's causing that that's got seven moons what's the Highest mass, 16 moons. Oh my god, what is going on with Planet 9's orbit there? That's very weird. This also gets affected by all the other planets as well. 3.34 moons, 16 moons, 7 moons. Okay, I'm guessing this guy, 16 moons, is a little too much. So we'll pull it down to 5 moons. There we go. Then you we will put to about 3 moons. There we go. Alright, blue gas will lower you a bit as well. There we go. Just to get a little less mass in there. So if we click play, hopefully that will behave more. See, that's Planet 9's orbit wobbling there. That's just the way um, Planet 9 works. Its orbit is always constantly wobbling. It's never the same just because of all the other planets. Planet 9's always got a slightly wobbly orbit. It won't leave the sun or anything, so it's all fine. The moon, the moons look all good as well. So there is that. Okay, but I'm liking the way that is. It's got a nice little moon system around Planet 9. All sort of like blue-coloured theme mostly. So that is very nice. Okay, what could else could we add? I think one more object should do it for this system. So, um, let's see here. Hmm. There's a lot of objects. Yeah, I don't want to show off any of those um, ones yet. They're coming for 5K. I'm going to be making a very special system for 5K subscribers. So, um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Why? Let's go with my regular white template. This is the close, or like a very, very light pink, I think there so we'll place you in around let's pull it uh let's pull it here slightly further on than blue gas 
So there we go. This is an object I made myself, I think. Actually, no, no, hang on. No, I think that's um, someone made this one ages ago. But yeah, here is um, this white object. So there you go. Okay, position lock is off. Perfect. So let's call it um, icy. There we go. <laughs> or icy. There we go. So there we are. All right, 14 degrees. Yeah, that's going to cool down a lot. We'll increase the albedo. Oh, this has a climate mode as well. That'd be quite cool if we can get that working. So if I add a bit of water to it. Oh, it actually does that. So let's see if we can actually get all of it to like freeze over. Because this is definitely going to freeze, as we know. So put it to zero degrees. This thing's going to drop pretty quick. So minus... There we go. So that will look slightly different with climate on. So you get like a slightly different effect. It makes it brighter, which is what I want there. So looking good. So now we've got ICU in orbit of Planet 9 there as well. Okay, looking good. So yeah, I think that will be it for the custom Planet 9 moon system, guys. So yeah, there we go. So to begin with, we've got um, this object here. So we've got Sal Solaby. Um, then we've got obviously Planet 9 Cloudy. So the cloudy, rocky planet version with the Planet 9 color. Then we've got Planet 9 Not Cloudy. So a Pretty much this object just with a thinner atmosphere. Then we've got Aura Pax, that little asteroid. Then we've got two more asteroids there. Then we've got Akam here, so that's that frozen um, object. Then we've got Blue Gas, which is the um, second Planet 9, which I never used because I like my original one more. Then we've got this one. Um, then we've got Icy out here. And then lastly, we have Small Shine all the way over here. So there it is. It's in orbit of Planet 9, so if we uh, turn all that off, you can see Planet 9 and a few of the other moons around as well. So look at that. So flashlight. So you can only really see Planet 9, but if we move closer, you'll see a lot more of the moons. There we go. You can see them all there. Not cloudy. Got that one over there. We've got icy in the distance. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Uh, labels. Small shine is so far away and so small. Barely see it from here, but yeah, there is that. And we've got a few. We've got blue gas. So you can see there's quite a lot of moons around. And obviously from Planet 9 itself as well. Yeah, there's a lot of moons uh, chilling out as well. Look how far away the sun is though. Jeez. It's just, oh god, no known trails. But you can see the sun is just so far away from Planet 9. So realistically, it's just going to be like this. But the moons are still there. Like They are still in orbit Planet 9. So um, yeah, there we go. So that will do it for this episode and this series, in fact, actually. Um, maybe we can move on and do the Trappist um, system. Because I believe um, someone did say improve the Trappist or give the Trappist planets moons. So... Could do that as the um, replacement for this series, guys. Let me know down below in the comments. And also, let me know, um, do you want me to release this system in um, my Discord in case you guys want to edit it, play around with it, or just use it for your own systems? I don't mind. You can use it for your own system, repost it with like upgrades or anything like that, or edits you've done, or of any of my systems. Like I said, I don't really mind. Take any system I've ever made, improve it, send it to me. It'd be pretty interesting to see what you guys can do with my uh, systems there. But um, that's your choice if you want to do that. But yeah. That will do it for this video, guys. So, yeah, if you like this video, let's see if we can go for 30 likes um, down below because it really, really helps the channel out and it's much, much appreciated. And also, subscribe if you're new as well. Helps on the journey to 5,000 as we are very, very close now. And we are in, it's really, really close. Like Just a massive thanks again as well because, yeah, we are very close to it. So, yeah, there is that. And I think maybe if we're lucky, we could try and get 6,000 before the end of the year. That'd be pretty uh, nice indeed. But yeah, let's focus on getting the 5K uh, mark first. Yeah, just a massive thanks, like I said already. But just it's, it's absolutely amazing. Just cannot thank you guys enough for that. And yeah, let me know what you think of my Planet Nine moons. Because I really um, do like the way these have um, came out. And also a massive thanks to Miss Mislot again for making um, these objects here. These two Planet Nine um, moon coloured templates. Because they are very nice indeed. And they go very well with Planet Nine itself there. So um, yeah, there we go. Massive thanks to him. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I need to say, guys. So make sure you all have a great day. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.